grateful that you guys have been participating and joining me in this podcast i know it's probably like more than a month or a month of me doing this and i really appreciate you guys answering my stories checking out the live streams and i really appreciate you joining me and reflecting with me in our notebook of ours um this episode is not the usual i'm only by myself but this episode i wanted to become more personal and more so you can uh probably Uh, see or hear what I have to say mostly because this topic has been very very personal to me the past few days have has been really hard for me not to that extent where it's really bringing me down and preventing me from trying new things and all that but um, it's something that I want you guys to remember that not everything you see is what you what is the truth you know like there is always something behind the scenes or there's always something behind every story and so um i guess the weight of what is happening right now in the world um, with covid happening having it you know like more than six months or whatever has been dawning upon me and it's really taking a toll on on my mental health in a way, in well-being. So it kind of brings me back to a time where I really had struggles, you know, um, being not happy. And that is not usually the case for for me uh, the past three years. And I don't know if you guys, if you guys know me from before, I've, I transform into a completely different person. And before I start all that babble, I just want to just slim down what we're going to talk about today and what we're going to talk about today is are you truly happy are you truly happy that's my question for you guys when someone asks you how are you you say oh i'm good but are you really good that's my question so it really it really um sparks my interest you know like what is going through our mind whenever we say that like why do we say i'm good when we're not no, it's easy for us to mask what we're feeling inside because we don't want others to f- feel that, um, to feel worried, or maybe we just want to keep it to ourselves. But, or maybe we just want to, you know, avoid, avoid what we're feeling. Where in fact we have to face what we're currently experiencing and be aware that no, I'm not okay, and it's okay not to be okay. As cliche as it sounds, it is totally, totally true. So, what is happiness, guys? Like, if I'm going to ask you a question right now, what is your happiness or what is happiness? And I, I know I said earlier that I wanted this episode to be more reflective of what I feel. And it's because I want you guys to relate and to know that even though I have this positive or cheerful personality it's not always the case what's going inside of me and it is uncomfortable you know sharing this to you guys but i just want to be vulnerable and relatable for you guys to see that what you see in the in the highlight reels or in social media is not always the same i mean generally right now i am really happy but there are some points in my life in my day that i feel down and that's totally okay that's totally okay and that's totally normal i feel like there's an expectation for us you know to become happy when in fact it's okay not to be you know so Going back to the question, what is happiness? And it's very, very personal for each and every one of us. It's different for everyone, and everyone has their own definition of happiness. For me, I guess before I had this fake feeling of achieving, you know, like achieving, that is when I achieve something, that is happiness for me. When I get, when I become the top of my class, that's happiness for me. Or, or when I uh, get applauded by people, by my parents, most especially when I was younger, that was happiness for me. But as I grow older, I realize that there's some emptiness inside of me that is not, cannot be filled by anything else. Um, I felt the void. 
in the past few days, I've been feeling this emptiness, actually, and this void. And I was like, it's time to regroup. It's time to reflect on how am I really doing? You know, am I just putting on a facade or how am I? I need to check up on myself, do a mental and spiritual checkup on where I am at this point. And spending time, more time alone made me realize that I, I am forgetting something, that I am forgetting something very important. And that's recognizing my value and my value in front of God. You know, like seeing myself as God sees me. I've been slowly going back to probably um, probably trying to achieve something, focusing on the outcome so that I can feel fulfilled, you know? And, and it's not about me. It's about others. It's about God. It's about service. And right now, I am really grateful that I got that slap in the face and, and, and you know, like have that um, redirection and realignment into where I'm going right now. And I'm so grateful that that time alone, that time reflecting made me realize what is really important. So I'm probably going into tangents right now, but yes, happiness depends on the inside. Okay, so. So let me get this straight. My first definition of happiness is happiness is in the inside. And there's nothing wrong with you know being happy about what's happening outside of us. You know, like oh if you get that job promotion or you got that yes from the perfect girl of your dreams or maybe um going to a trip or or a, travel a new place there's nothing wrong about that but depends but it depends on your circumstance you know like it always depends on what is happening around you rather than what how are you responding to what is outside you and you're coming from the inside i don't know if i'm making sense but i think happiness is in the inside and if you have that perspective if you have that mindset of seeing the good despite the bad, in spite of the bad, then you'll still be happy, you know? There's, there's something about the outside that makes you want to escape sometimes, you know? If, if happiness is dependent on the outside there's a tendency for us to escape and that can present into different different forms um escape means could be addiction and addiction could be anything it's not just like addiction to drugs or porn or alcohol it could be like approval addiction even you know approval addiction meaning you want to please people because you want to feel love and happy and be accepted. Um, what else is there? You want to have that validation, you know. Um, you can have that addiction to materials of buying something new so you can be happy. And yeah, it's it's just it's just fleeting, you know. It, it's just it's not permanent if you have happiness depending on what is happening around you rather than approaching the circumstances good or bad with a mindset that you know you will overcome and and that your value does not depend on what is happening around you and that your value is finding your worth in in God and in finding your value as seeing your value as God sees you seeing your worth and I think that was my struggle before um, three years ago I had some self-esteem problems and that's a accumulating uh, accumulating uh, experiences with bullies and for 12 years so it's 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 hard you know it's it's really hard and and you tend to cover up that um, hurt and that pain with the desire to achieve, the desire to please people, and the desire to um, 
just be on top of things to make you think that you're worthy. But I wasn't happy. I was always, you know, chasing after thing after thing after thing. And it came to a point where I was filled with shame. And every day I was living in shame. And I got to be honest with you guys, it's tiring. And I cried every day and I didn't know how to speak to people. They probably think I'm really smart, but deep inside I'm just really, really broken. Really broken to the point that I wanted to take my own life. And it was, it was a journey, a process of, of finding self-love. And I'm thankful that God has healed me and God has reached out to me in ways that I could not never or ever, ever imagined. And he healed me and it took time. Um, and so it, it started, happiness started, true happiness started when, when I accepted his love and when I saw how he saw me. It took time, and it took time to change the way I think about myself and to feel about myself. And that's, that's all I can share with you guys for now, I guess. Um, it's tempting, you know. It's tempting to, to escape because we don't want to feel that pain. You know, change is hard. We don't want to, we don't want to, we want to escape. And like I said before, like it can happen in various forms and it's not healthy for you. It's not going to solve the problem if we just escape. And escaping, like I said, is, is, it could be like even scrolling through your IG feed just to forget about the problem or taking in that, that drug to f make you forget about it, but you're not actually solving the problem. You're delaying, you're delaying to solve that problem or you're delaying how you can grow from that problem and building your character, if that makes sense. So I think happiness is really about perspective and the mindset and the will and the faith that everything will turn out for your favor because there is someone out there up there that loves you no matter what, no matter what the circumstance and no matter who you are. So that's my number one point of what happiness is and happiness is a choice. A lot of people don't realize that you have the power to choose how you would approach a situation or a mindset and I just want to remind you guys that you have the power you have the power to, to approach whatever is right in front of you. You have a choice. You always do. But it's just a matter of recognizing that you can. And there's someone, God, your family, your friends, believing in you that you can overcome that problem. And if you do overcome that, happiness will just be a byproduct of it. Happiness is a byproduct of love. I think happiness is also finding value in the things that matters most, finding value in yourself. And I would over and over, repeat it over and over again, that I really think it is in the inside. So yeah, it cannot come from anyone else but from you, and it cannot come from anyone better any anywhere else but from him and i'm not trying to convince you guys this is my opinion but this is my firm belief that true happiness is really found in love and in god in himself so yeah that's just that's just how i see it and believe it um happiness is something that you need to protect it's so easy to fall away from that mindset, from that state of well-being, you know. It's so fragile. And you have to always keep yourself in check. Like, always do a checkup on yourself. Like, how are you doing? And giving yourself some self-care and self-love. Um, before, it's, it's interesting how I thought self-love was 
selfish, but it's actually not. And I think the biggest takeaway in my past um, years, about five years, is that self-love is so important. And it's not being selfish. It's actually being selfless in a way when you put the perspective of loving yourself so you can give love to other people. I always say this, that you cannot give what you don't have. So, yeah, and you get that love from him. Yeah, I'm following you getting into tangents again, but I hope you're getting a gist of what I'm trying to say. It's so difficult. Now I'm realizing it's so difficult to do a solo podcast because there's no one guiding you where you are. But here we go. Here we go <laughs> again. So I think, yeah, that's, just, that's, um, that's basically what I'm trying to get at. It's external could be like attachments to people and things and um, a status, maybe wealth and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just trying to give you guys ideas and stuff. What am I, else am I going to say? Happiness is in the now. That is one reflection that I realized. Um, I keep focusing on the future. And like I said before, I wanted to see results right away. I want to see the outcome. I want to see if I'm doing it right. But what I'm missing is I'm not being content about the things that I have right now and what is given to me and the journey of becoming, you know. It's so easy to be discontent. I think my mindset towards that is that I don't want to be content because I want to grow. But you can be content and grow at the same time. It's, it's like focusing on the now and noticing that every failure or every setback or even good thing is part of your becoming. And you can find happiness in the now. So I hope that also makes sense. <laughs> um, and I think before, looking back when I was younger, I wasn't happy because I was focused on the past. I wasn't moving on about the fact that I was bullied and I believe the lies they told me that I wasn't good enough, that, that I'm not smart or I am not worthy to be someone's friend. And I keep replaying that in my mind. Again, you have the power to change your mindset about certain things. Moving on from the past allows you to focus on the now. Because the past has its baggage on you. So you have the power to control those memories. But you know what? If I'm going to go back to the past, I won't change a thing. Because what, what, what happened to me before What is what led to what am I now. So it's also that acceptance you know, of the past. And being at peace with it. And again, it just takes time and prayer and that will to be peace, to be at peace with your past. And most often times, we need to forgive ourselves and others. And I find it harder to forgive myself and all actuality. We have that need to be happy, eh? You know, guys, we need that need to be happy. We have that need to be happy. And it's so hard when it's forced. So I always say this. Be patient with your journey and enjoy the now and the process of becoming. Um, it's, it's normal, you know, to have the up and down in life. And life is just very colorful. And I think pain is necessary for us to have the good days. It makes us appreciate, as, as weird as it sounds or as paradoxical it's, as it sounds, 
pain makes us appreciate our good days. And if you overcome that pain and you become at peace with your pain, with your past, there is some sense of relief and peace that I cannot explain because I think you have that acceptance that it is part of you and it's part of your journey. It's building your character once again. And God really, God really cares about your character more than your comfort. And that's the truth. Yeah, so, yeah, I think that's mostly what my thought is. Um, I don't know what else to say, in all honesty, but I guess now I'll go back to the barriers to, um, to happiness. One is insecurities. Second is comparison. And the third is escape. I think I'm going to pass on the escape part because I've dealt, I've talked, talked about it. But, um, insecurities is really hard. There is, insecurities is basically fear of worthlessness. And insecurities can be masked by pride. So, if you have insecurities, I want you to know that everyone has them. But it depends on how, how much weight you put into them. And like I said before, if you have that seed of self-love in you, and you nurture that seed, eventually those insecurities would be wiped away. Those weeds of inser- insecurities, those weeds of insecurities will be wiped away. Because your focus is on your gifts, on your specific, unique gifts that God gave you. Everyone has a special gift that only they can do. And I want you to celebrate that. I want you to celebrate the small and the big wins that you have in your life. And to focus on on your, on your, on it, to focus on it and I guess insecurities and comparisons lead or connect with each other, to be honest. Sometimes we get insecurities from comparing ourselves to other people, especially now in the day and age of social media and where other people like my age are like, what? They're already millionaires? They already have um, like this kind of thing and they all already look like they're accomplished? But you know what? Comparison steals joy. It steals... it. It promotes envy and and insecurities is also envy but I, I want you to know that you have your own time and comparisons are unavoidable but you know what it can be celebrated because if you love that person as well you would celebrate with them and you'd be inspired with them inspired but how they approach life and how they get to this point a to point b you know be happy for them be happy because you know what if you're happy for that person then there's some love for that person and love for yourself i don't know i hope i'm making sense (laughs) but you guys if you have questions don't be afraid to send me a message or just comment (laughs) yeah so i just have that list in here um what else am i going to say barriers to happiness can also be impatience like me right now i'm really impatient and i need to work on it uh becoming patient (laughs) i just want results right away i just want certainty right away But, yeah, um, that's something that a lot of us need to work on, I think. Because we just are so used to being, getting stuff instant. Instant noodles, instant coffee. (laughs) Just kidding. But, yeah, everything takes time. And I know I've told, I've told you guys about this before, too. 
I hope you're getting my point here. <laughs> um, what else am I going to say? Ignorance is bliss. Like I said, like denial and escape is a barrier to, um, barrier to happiness. Um, it prevents you from... It prevents you from getting that that satisfaction after you overcome that problem. It prevents you from recognizing that you can do it without that external thing, you know? Which can be like um, anything. Um, I don't know what else to say. So yeah, I hope I'm making sense here. <laughs> it's very short, I feel like. Um, I hope that you guys keep an open mind and all my um, opinions, these are my opinions and I totally respect everyone. Um, there's a certain degree of um, pain that we are allowed to tolerate. And I always say this, that seek help. If, if you feel that this is too much to handle, don't be afraid to reach out to a professional. Don't be afraid to reach out to the people you trust. And everyone has their own battles, you know. And everyone has their own way of coping their battles. And we respect that, you know. Um... Yeah, so I respect everyone here. If I'm sorry if I if you feel personally attacked. I hope not, but I'm just these are just my opinions and I respect everyone's decision or choices in their life. But before I end, I was I asked an IG question and I had a question just one and the question is can you be truly happy when you know someone is suffering from your happiness? Asking for a friend. So, can you be truly happy when you know someone is suffering from your happiness? It's a good question. It's a hard question. And the first thing that I thought of from this question is how important is that someone for you how valuable is he or she for you and i think that will determine that will determine your um happiness for me if i'm happy and let's say my family isn't I'd probably have second thoughts on choosing that path or decision. And like I said before, like happiness is finding value or like finding what is important to you. And find happiness is love and I love my family and I would definitely have second thoughts on this path or decision um, because I value my family so much how important is that person for you that you're willing to sacrifice for them so yeah I think it's a really hard question I'm struggling to answer but it really depends on how valuable that for person is and, and how willing you are to sacrifice your own happiness for theirs it's like balancing um, your wants versus their wants. But I think it's also determining what is the best for everyone. And like I said, it is depending on discernment. You have to pray about it, whatever decision that is. I'm not probably not providing enough context and not into specifics, but yeah, it's it really depends on how valuable that person is to you and 
yeah, if you're willing to sacrifice your own happiness, that you'll be truly happy for that person. I don't know if it makes sense. Let me let me rephrase. <laughs> so, I think if you love that person, um, you'd be happy gradually. Maybe there's pain in the end, in the at the moment, but um, you'll be gradually going to happiness when you make the right decision if that person is valuable or if you make that decision for that person yeah i don't know if i answered the question but it really depends it really depends on that on that someone and how willing you are to sacrifice <laughs> yeah that's all i have to say for this podcast thank you so much for um, joining me and i have to say this is harder than i thought it was <laughs> being alone with your thoughts and just voicing it out um it's hard but guys i'll i'll keep working at it but next episode i hope you guys enjoy it um it'll be good <laughs> i'll be i'll be with um cool cool people and we'll learn a lot so thank you guys so much for watching again please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow at Anquaderno on ig um also um please share the videos we're also on spotify and on apple podcast and i hope you guys enjoy and yeah please ask questions i cannot cover everything and i forget stuff but hopefully hopefully um this helped thank you guys for watching bye